Hi everyone, I'm Shah Ansari and today I'll be explaining you about the SXA themes. So what are the SXA themes? What the first thing that comes in my in our mind that the look and feel of overall website is the theme. Theme can be of various types that SXA offers. For example, in SXA we have various types of themes that are prepackaged with the SXA. So if we go to the media library and the themes folder, you will see that you have themes already packed up. So the basic two wireframe and wireframe depreciated are the themes that are prepackaged with the SXA themes. Along with the base themes that includes the Bing JS connector, Google Maps theme, JSON main theme, maps, and so on. These are basically dependent or you can see that these are the prototype themes that comes along with the SXA these are dependent on the components which are packaged in the SXA so in case you are using a component for example you have a map map component or uh, you can say Google Maps component so you will require the Google Maps JS connector to be included in your theme. So what you can do here is you will go to your theme. Okay, so your theme and the base themes are different. When you create a site, you actually create a theme in first. So this is your theme in workspace. Okay, so here we have a teen and folder and then we we have our site name. In my case, it's demo SXA. So in demo SXA, I created a theme which is a demo SXA theme, which is specifically for this demo SXA website. So we will go to the SXA demo SXA theme and go to the content and here we will find that these basic base themes are already included here in this theme so in our website we have our theme demo SXA demo SXA theme so with that we can see that we have Gulf folder, SAS folder, code, scripts, images, styles, and some other configs that are required for Gulf in order to work it properly. Okay, so when you export it, so you will see that these are the files required for the creative exchange to work. So you can export your website while going on your tenant folder in your website you can go to the top section and click on export so you will see that you have choices you can either select which device you want to export we have default we can select different languages in our case we only have english so we'll just stick to one english and you can also see that if you either want to ignore some items or you want to uh, what do you want to do with the buckets pages that are in the buckets so you can either include them or exclude them or you can select that if it, those are of one template so you can either select from from them so you have also choice of exporting it to a zip file or either on the server to a specific folder which in, in our case we have app data so Another option 
for we have here is exported content so which site or which branch or which page you want to export you, you have choices of exporting either the site either the branch either the single page and uh, you also have the mode of exporting like you want to export it to be able to import it back or you want the website to be like non importable this is the kind of a different case where you only want the site to show to your client so the uh, so you can use the end user site which is the normal mode and uh, you will only uh, you can only work with that uh, when you're fine tuning so both of the options have different uh, priorities you can say so you can either select importable in our case if we want to import it back so we will select the uh, mode of agency drop so when we will next it will create a package so we create it by creating a package of the zip you can once it's done we can download it let's wait a while Okay, so we can download it. That's it. Okay, let's talk more about the Gulp files. The Gulp, the Gulp is a task runner. So we have different tasks that are lined up with the Gulp. So we have ESLint, Gulp uploading, SAS components, SAS styles, sprites. Watch all, watch CSS, watch HTML, watch image, watch JS, watch SAS, and watch SAS source. So these are basically the task runners. So whenever you, with the watch all, when you are running the task, watch also, it will do, what it will do is that, it will watch uh, that uh, if you are making any changes in the CSS, and um, so on, like we are doing uh, something with the JS, so the watch all covers all of the scenarios of CSS, HTML, markup, images, JS, and SAS. So these are the tasks that uh, that we introduce. Uh, if I'm not wrong, uh, it was introduced in 1.4 uh, SXA. Uh, before that, it was uh, uh, it wasn't there. So we pretty much had to do everything on our own. So in SAS, we have the basic SAS files that are that we have already aware of. So you know that the SS SAS files requires a compiler. So with the Gulp task runner running in the background, we know that uh, the SAS will be handled by the Gulp. These are the basic uh, uh, front end techniques that the current front end developers are following these days. So it's kind of a requirement to use the task runners in order to give uh, the client the SAS files and we have uh, actually we we can easily work on the SAS. So in the images we have normal images whatever images we like in fonts we have fonts that we can include and in styles we have uh, the styles that are generated by the SAS so all of the files when we import it back so are already there now let's talk about the inheritance for the themes let's suppose that we have a requirement of Christmas so for Christmas we want our site to be a little different than the normal site so what we will gonna do is that we will, instead of modifying the theme for the current website, we will do is to create a new theme that will be available for only Christmas. So what we can do here is we will go and
go to scripts and click on the new site theme and we will call it the Christmas theme. This will take a while. Yeah. It's running. Let's wait for let's wait for a while. It you usually takes a bit of time depending on your speed of your PC. <laughs> it's taking a bit long. All right, done. So let's see what it has done. So we will go to our media library folder and uh, we will go to the themes and we are, we had a workspace. We will go there. Okay, it was already collapsed. Okay, yeah, we have a Christmas theme here. So what we are going to do is that we will work only on the Christmas theme. So this way we will not lose are any of the changes of the existing website we will not do any harm to the existing website existing theme or to any other belongings for the currently running website but we will do a lot of changes for the site without even affecting our current website so in a Christmas theme we will do our stuff in our CSS, in our SAS files, in our styles. We can upload the bunch of images related to Christmas. We can style in green and red theme. So, so we have already our website in blue color, but we want our website for the Christmas to be right in green. So that's a pretty cool thing. What we can do is we will set the inheritance. I will go to the demo accessic theme and into the content. We will see that we already have uh, looked here that how the inheritance work. So we will come over here. We will see that in the features. This is taking a while. This usually does not take that much time. Okay, so we are going to the. Sorry, my bad. It wasn't themes. Okay, so we are going where our theme is located. Oh, my bad. Okay, so we will include the Christmas theme at the very bottom so that it will override. All of the changes that we have in our theme once we are done we will save it that's it your existing site has been inherited with the new theme of Christmas so this is how the SXA theming works we can use multiple themes for the one specific website we can have multiple websites and have it multiple themes so multiple websites and multiple teams and multiple tenants and multiple websites and multiple teams so this is kind of like a net of websites and themes and all so you can play around with different styles and uh, you can fulfill your needs so it's pretty much cool for me All right, guys. That's it for now. We I wanted to cater the Creative Exchange in this scenario, but uh, that's a broader topic. So this is not part of the introduction to the themes. We will try to get it done. We'll try to get it done in our next session.
so stay tuned i'll be right i'll be right back with you with you guys in the next section see ya